Hey everyone, how's it going? Grizzly Bear here with another Team Fortress 2 gameplay commentary. Today we're going to be playing as the Sniper on King of the Hill Sawmill. And I just want to apologize for the laggy gameplay here. My connection wasn't really the greatest, but I felt this was a pretty solid gameplay, so I went ahead and kept it anyway. But today we're going to be talking about something other than the gameplay, and that is how to be more productive. And more specifically, why it is important to establish a daily routine. <laughs> Now, obviously, this isn't a one-size-fits-all kind of thing. It's going to be a little different for everybody, but it has worked for me, so I wanted to share it with you guys. So, wake up, eat your breakfast, brush your teeth, go to class or work. I mean, that might sound a little familiar to you, and maybe this is what you classify as your daily routine. And you wouldn't be wrong in saying that. But what I'm talking about are the things that you schedule in for you. You know, maybe a side project you've been working on, or... Maybe just a nice 30 minute walk in the evening, you know, something you don't necessarily have to do, but when you do it, it makes you feel good. Now for me, I set aside time each day to work on commentaries, whether that be playing the game, editing video, recording audio, you know, that kind of stuff. And it makes it a lot easier for me to do it when I know that I have this time set aside specifically for doing commentaries. Now I'm going to get a little bit crazy here. Imagine your life is an all you can eat buffet. like. One of those Chinese places where you go in, you know, you pay your six bucks and then you eat too much and then you puke in your car on the way home. <laughs> okay, so your life is a buffet and each day is a different meal. So, you know, you start by grabbing your plate and you fill it up, some rice, some sesame chicken, some of those noodles over there. Mm, I mean, that egg roll looks pretty good. And then you go to your table and, you know, you chow down. And once you finish it, you go back and you get another plate and you keep going back to get more and more plates until you can't eat anymore. And why do you stop? Why can't you? keep eating. You're full. There's no room left in your stomach, just like how you run out of time in a day. There's only so much that you can fit in. And maybe there is a little bit of food left on your plate, and that's fine. Because tomorrow you're going to fill up your plate again, and maybe this time there will be room left for that piece of chicken or that crab, whatever you got. Now, take the same scenario and think of it this way. You go to the Chinese place, you pay your six bucks, you grab your plate just like last time, but this time, instead of hitting the buffet and loading up on food, you go straight to your table, you sit down. What are you going to do? You can't eat. There's nothing on your plate. You've got to fill up your plate with food or you won't be able to eat. You went to the buffet, you paid your $6. Why wouldn't you eat? And that's like life. If you wake up, your day's started. Fill up your plate. Do something with your day. And yeah, some days you might not feel like eating. You might not be hungry. But you have to eat. So, that's kind of how I've been thinking about it lately. That's a little weird, I know. <laughs> but, if I don't put down what I'm going to do on paper, more than likely I'm not going to end up doing it. And by establishing a routine, it's easier to continue to do these things daily. They'll begin to turn into habits, and it'll seem more weird not to do them every day. So, that's some advice from me to you. <laughs> a little bit weird with the whole Chinese buffet analogy, but I think, you know, it kind of gets the point across. So if you want to get stuff done, do it every day, write it down, do whatever you got to do. But now we're going to transition into another topic here focused a little bit more on this channel. So my New Year's resolution was four videos a week, and this is the fourth video that I've uploaded. So I just wanted to get your guys' opinions on it. You know, is it too many videos that I'm putting out? Are you feeling overwhelmed, like I'm swamping you with all this content? Or would you rather have more videos? Do you feel like I'm not putting out enough? And I don't know, it's just something I've been thinking about. I just want to know what you guys think. And I feel like four videos is quite a bit of content to be putting out consistently. But if you guys want to see more videos or maybe longer videos, you know, I'll see what I can do. And I'll probably start with some live commentaries next week. I haven't really been in the mood to do them lately, but, you know, th I'm thinking things will come around next week. So keep an eye out for those. But I'm going to wrap it up here really quick. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will talk to you all later. Have a good one, guys. Bye.